Right now at 6 o'clock, making Houston safer. KPRC2 Investigates sits down with newly elected Mayor John Whitmire to talk about his innovative approach to reducing crime and protecting you and your family. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Daniela Guzman. And I'm Keith Garvin. The mayor elect says he is so determined to make Houstonians safer, he plans on evaluating his own protection. He announced his plan to investigator Mario Diaz during a lengthy interview. Yeah, the topic of feeling safe in Houston is at the top of everyone's mind and uh, Whitmire says that it will be his top focus starting on day one. Mario joining us now from Houston's southwest side with much more. Uh, Daniela, you know, uh, making our streets safer in Houston in any neighborhood, that is at the very core, the foundation of John Whitmire's blueprints. The mayor-elect says that this is why he ran. He wanted to change the city, but in reality, after Saturday's vote, it's also the mandate of Houstonians. There's no doubt that people are ready for change including me, or I wouldn't have been in the race. Mayor-elect John Whitmire sitting down first with KPRC2 Investigates after his landslide victory on Saturday night. We did not waste any time tackling the primary issue he says to fix Houston. Public safety will be our highest priority. So personal to Whitmire, he plans on evaluating how many officers are currently assigned to protect the mayor. I will take my protection very serious, but I will not waste officers that, that I think could be on the streets. Whitmire says the Turner administration's claims of violence being down is not being presented in proper context to Houstonians, as it remains high in comparison to just years ago before the pandemic. They would tell us that public safety is headed in the right direction. Using one year's statistics, I will speak out. First of all, we will increase HPD officers. Whitmire's approach, however many officers it takes to get the job done. The man tasked with that objective will continue to be HPD Chief Troy Finner. Whitmire announcing last week Finner will be held over. But the mayor-elect admits he is well aware of one issue that personnel in the department also have been conveying to KPRC2 investigates. Morale within HPD is low. <clears throat> Real low, all-time low, that I've been in my 50 years of public service. And you know, I work very close with HPD. Are you still committed to Chief Finner knowing, as you just stated, morale is at an all-time low? I don't know how much of that that I would fault Chief Finner. Uh, you know, there's always Contention. A team looks to its leader. I got that. Well, Fenner knows how I feel. Fenner will certainly be my chief on day one. I expect him to do better, and he will do better. And if not? Well, you always keep your options open. Yeah, uh, Mayor Leg John Whitmire telling me that uh, he's positive on Fenner, but he's going to be holding him along with every city director in his administration accountable. But the reason he says public safety is so important for him because it's not just a Houston thing. Anything that happens here in terms of the public safety impacts our entire region, according to the mayor-elect. In Southwest Houston, Mario Diaz, KPRC2 investigates. Yeah, in infecting the entire uh, region. Also, that entails the law enforcement from other area departments as well. Do they plan on, the, does the mayor-elect, does he plan on leaning more on personnel? Is that what that means? Uh, you know what, Keith? I spoke with him today about one particular thing because he said he wants more officers on the streets. He also says he wants to collaborate, as you indicated, with other members of law enforcement. He says we don't do a good enough job of really coming together and talking with one another, considering that we have the county, all the constables, and also DPW. He says that, um, excuse me, uh, DPS, forgive me, DPS. There's a lot of things he wants to fix. DPW is another one. But DPS, and he says that we've seen that in, in Dallas. They collaborate. They did well there. They had some issues in Austin, but he says, you know, DPS is already here in Houston and they've assisted in many ways. It's not just about personnel. It's also about everyone using the right resources to make our entire region safer, Keith. All right, Mario Diaz, live from Southwest Side. Thank you, sir.
And while public safety may be Mayor elect Whitmire's number one priority, he has not forgotten about our investigative series, Drained, which looks at Houston's water billing and repair system. Now here's what the mayor elect told Mario yesterday about his next steps starting in 2024.